It's giving very much temp agency vibes. Happy Valentine's Day. Today I wanted my video to not be super long, so I'm gonna make it quick. I'm going to make today's video about my morning routine when I first arrive um, at Amazon. So just come with me. So guys, tell me why something unexpectedly happened today. I'm driving, so I apologize if I'm not able to look directly at the camera, but I got to the station, I clocked in, got out of my car, started walking towards the table where we grab our bags. And our bags are clear bags that have our van keys in them, our route, where we're going for the day, how many bags we have, our gas key, all that good stuff. So I go to the table and I don't have a bag. I'm looking for my name, there's no name. No, no, no bag for me, basically. I go to ask, you know, where's my bag? You know, I'm here for work. This is my scheduled work day. And I was told that there were too many people and not enough routes. Um, I have never got or had an issue like this before. So that's why I'm just surprised, you know, I only work three days as it is. I work Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. So I figure, you know, I would have some work or I would be able to work my scheduled days. It's only three days. I was told that I can stand and wait around and we'll see if the other people show up who actually have bags with their name on it. And if they don't show up, then I can take their bag, I guess, which made no sense to me because I would be taking their work. I don't know. But so... Literally everyone shows up for their scheduled day, scheduled route. I would say there was about seven of us or so waiting, standing around waiting. One of the girls was like, you know what? I'm okay, like just, you know, taking off, leaving. I guess obviously she didn't have a bag either. She said she was going to go do some Instacart order. She left and there were, I don't know, like two bags left for seven of us to <laughs> fight over and i'm not about to fight over a bag for work like to me that's ridiculous um i didn't sign up for this i'm gonna still keep in positive attitude about the situation but i'm not happy i'm not gonna say that because i almost felt like they expected me to not come into work or something today i mean it is valentine's day this video was actually going to be about my morning route and I was gonna go through the routine of everything that I do to get my day started. But since I never got my day started because I didn't get a bag, um, I'm actually headed to Whole Foods. You guys, I'm big on consistency and I don't know, I'm, I'm just not in the mood mentally today. I didn't expect to go to work and basically not have work to do. It almost feels like a temp agency or something like that. And you know, that's not what I signed up for. I signed up to work three days, eight to 10 hours. I do get it that you may not get your 10 hours and that's fine. But to go to work and there's not enough work for you feels like a temp agency to me. It's giving very much temp agency vibes. Luckily, I have another way of making income and Amazon delivery was not or is not my only income. If so, I would have been really pissed off. So I'm about to go do some grocery deliveries and I'll be right back. Over time and overdue. Ain't no sneak that is old news. Been outside, that's with the crew. Make my night up on the moon. And I'm wanna get the news. She come home, I heard the zoom. I step outside, I need my base. Take one down and hit my pain. Hey guys, so I just got back home. Actually, it was a few hours ago from my Whole Foods order, and I just got a message from my DSP 
she sent a message through uh, it's like a amazon chime app so everyone that works with the company gets the message at the same time basically uh she just went right to the point to let us know that tomorrow there will be extra drivers so she was courteous enough to let us know ahead of time so we won't drive all the way there and then of course be sent home because there's no work um, she did anticipate Thursday she will need help because of the weather. Tomorrow will be 62 degrees. Thursday is going to be really cold, probably in the 30s, and it's gonna, going to get bad throughout the day. I think it's going to snow and some other stuff that's going on. So um, she gave us the option to take off tomorrow and then work on Thursday, either Wednesday and Thursday or something like that. Um, but I mean, like I said, I work three days a week, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Um, I took off Sunday. Sunday was the Super Bowl. Yesterday, or actually today's Monday, Valentine's Day, was when I went in and there was no bag for me, which is no work. And so, um, I'm just trying to figure out tomorrow if it's even worth going in for one day. My drive is almost 30 minutes away from where I live. So to go in and work just one day, I'm really trying to figure out, is it worth it? You guys, um, just let me know in the comments what you think. If there's anyone out there that's the Amazon driver, do you guys go through the same issue that either I went through today or that we do go through? Our DSP does send us messages to let us know that they will have extra drivers but they usually do it first thing in the morning which is still enough time for you to not have to travel to the facility but like i said earlier it's starting to just you know feel like a temp agency it's almost like you know they will call you when they need you instead of you working you know your shift it's like we don't have work today but we'll have work tomorrow and I'm just not, you know, a fan of the inconsistency. I only work three days a week. I just want to work my three days and be done. I really don't want to come in on my off days. And I definitely don't want to trade a day where it's going to be fantastic out to come in on a day where, you know, not that it's potentially dangerous, actually, because it's potentially dangerous and it's just really cold out. So, I mean, am I being irrational or am I being rational about it? Just bummed about today. Um, and it just has me like, you know, questioning a lot of things, a lot of things, meaning, you know, the job itself, because, you know, I really work my butt off when I am there. Yes, I get rescued and sometimes I rescue people as well. But, you know, I'm not the one to go in and just complain all day. You know, I do the best I can and I get my job done and I go home. And that has nothing to do with the routes and what they have. It really it doesn't matter how hard you work. If they don't have the routes, they just don't have them. But I'm going to stay positive about the situation and the days to come. And we shall see what happens. So, I don't know. I just don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you have any questions about it. If there's any other uh, Amazon delivery drivers, we call them DAs. If there's any other DAs that are out there, do you guys go through the same situation? Do you go into work every day and there's too many drivers? Or is it just a certain time of the year that this happened? So let me know. See you guys on the next video. Peace. I fall for you every time I try to resist. Thinking it away. I'm just each feels in the day.